Hi ladies and gentlemen, good morning or good evening to everyone. Today we will discuss about mainframe production support interview questions. First question is what is the use of the exit keyword in a COBOL program? So exit statement is a do nothing statement which is mainly used for the readability and structure and it is end point, end point for your section or the paragraph. Like here is the program, COBOL program. In this we are testing the exit statement. Okay. And uh, like first in the procedure division we are calling the perform paragraph uh, through exit. So here in this uh, paragraph we have displayed the paragraph name. Okay. And in the exit, after exit statement, we have mentioned the display display statement okay after this like it will come to this okay like before exit in procedure division then we have mentioned one more exit and display after that so what will happen in this case whether we will get these this statement or not okay so uh, we have to check that and here also whether we will get this statement or not uh, that is the main question here so once we will execute this program or run this program so through JCL then you will get first your uh, first display okay you will get this display and then you will get uh, whether you will get this display or not this one exit display yes you are getting this display also you can see exit para and uh, after that your control will go to this exit and after that so you go to this exit before exit in procedure division so this will be display you can see here and after that your control will go to exit and then here after exit in procedure division yeah so it will display the statement even after exit or it will perform the it will perform the operation on the statement after the exit statement also okay there is one more example if we mention here exit program then what will happen in this case whether we will get this after exit in procedure division retest or not okay so once we have run this program so we have got this display then we have got this display you can see uh, and then we have got this display before exit in procedure division then we also got this display also fourth display also Okay, so you can see this is third display, this is fourth display. But after go back, we didn't get the after go back display because it will return the control to your sub program, sub program or main program. Okay, second question is how do you override a file in a prog from a JCL? Like this is a JCL. And in this we have two prog, daily prog and the monthly prog. But in the daily prog, what happened? Our job is failed. Uh, this our job is failed at this one due, due to we have space size is very low here and data is very large. So we want to override this file inside the uh, like JCL. So you can do first step 01 you can pick from here step 01 and then you have to give your dd statement you can see output dd stream then you have give you can give the same and but here you can change the you are like uh, space parameter slender 100 comma 100 okay then it will override this file when you will execute and in the monthly proc there is one more proc and but here we want to override override the input file so in this case like you can see this is the proc second in this uh, proc we have seen like we are using the input and the output in this input we want to override like we have updated this input file then just we want to override it through the uh, jcl so we can give first like after a monthly proc you have to give step 01 dot input then you have to give your dsn updated parameter updated file okay uh, next interviewer can also ask how can you override the 
concatenated data sets okay so for example we have this proc okay in this proc in the proc we have step 0 1 and here in this is ot1 we are using the four input file as concatenated okay so you can see and for example we just want to override the first file first file then what will uh, what how can we override it so here let if you want to override for uh, first parameter only first file only then you can use step 01 and then ccut1 and the, the first file name updated file name and display equal to share okay and for example you want to override any of these file only like you want to override uh, for example second file then what we what you how can you override in that case in that case you have to give the space in the first uh, first dsn okay and in the second dsn like you you are overwriting the second file so you have to give your updated file name and uh, you are not overriding like third file and the fourth file so you have to keep it blank you can keep it blank okay and next question is how many type of incident are there during production spot so like we have four type of incident first is the major second is the high third is moderate and fourth is low uh, you got soak 7 band and you have to skip the policy from input file how can we do that so like in we can do it through this sort utility okay uh, we have to give our input file in the sort in okay and in the sort out file we have to give our sort sort output file and in that case you have to give like sort field equal to copy you can use the omit condition at which location like this policy exists so you can give that and how many byte has the policy so you can give that and ch character eq and then uh, policy number uh, when you will execute so you will get the file in the sort output file okay what is the concatenation issue concatenation issue is mainly the deadlock deadlock okay so like for example you have one table table okay table one okay and in that case if two jobs are using this table then you will get the minus 9 11 as well code or you can say you will get the concatenation issue okay so how can you check whether your table is using by some uh, job or not or like you can use like db2 commands okay so like you can use db2i then db2 subsystem then you can go the salmon comma command and in the command you, you you have various command to check it so you can use this command this command also and same happen with the files also if uh, like one file is using by the two jobs okay then like if one file has been in edit mode by one job and second file is also going to edit this file uh, means update this file then you will also get their deadlock okay so in that case you can give who edge who has in front of file then you will it, you, it will give you the name of the job which job is using that current file okay next question is you have one jcl and it has two steps step one and step two step one is using the student input file and creating the plus one jdg version then step two is using this uh, plus one version here okay as input and it is creating the plus two version for example your job is failed in the second step in the second step okay then what will happen how will you resolve it and you have to restart the job from step 2 only so in that case you have to make some changes like you have to use the current version so for that you have to give plus 0 version and here in the output you have to give the plus 1 version it will create the plus 1 version then you can give restart parameter in your job card 
we start equal to step 2 okay thanks guys that's all from my side please like the video and subscribe this channel if you have any question please post it in the comment